hello welcome to another sketch with me episode this is episode four today i'm gonna be drawing in or coloring in this girl that i drew um you'll see kind of later on in the video i had a reference photo but i knew i wanted to make her blue because i didn't want to really make her like human human like i just needed the reference to see where to place the eyes and stuff because i'm trying to work on drawing my faces in different kind of perspectives i guess you could say and um i need to see like where the shade in her face would be and all the other stuff so i'm just going with going in with a light blue these are just regular crayola markers I, they're probably like from walmart or something nothing special they're not like the fancy ones that blend in and all that stuff maybe one day i'll have those markers but for now i have these so they need to get used <laughs> and sorry for having my face in the frame i think eventually it kind of it doesn't get in the frame as much but it's there now <laughs> i'm just outlining her face At the end, you'll kind of see she's ended up kind of looking like... I don't remember what that lady's name from X-Men is. The blue lady that people always dress up as. I don't remember her name, but that's kind of what she ended up looking like a little bit. It's not what I was really going for, but I mean... Again, I wasn't complaining. <laughs> Right now I'm just doing all the shading. The only part I wish I wouldn't have done is done the line where the shade was. Cause it kind of messed up the shading. It kind of put a line in her face where the, her cheekbones and stuff were. Like part of me likes it, but part of me doesn't like it. I don't know. It ends, it ends up looking good in the end, but I do wish I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> Especially since these markers don't really blend. There's a reference photo I was looking at. Some girl. I've seen her on Pinterest. I don't know who it is or where she's from. I just was like, oh. Since the girl on the, my other page that I drew, she's looking up. I was like, I need somebody who's kind of looking down. So I needed to see how that looked. I believe this is like the, maybe the eighth page in my sketchbook that I've done. I did not record the girl on the left. Um, I did it the night before. I was up to like two o'clock drawing her. Why? I don't know. I was trying to watch some show on Netflix and the show ended up being absolutely t terrible. <laughs> so now I'm re-watching Attack on Titan. Um... If you're into anime, let me know in the comments what your favorite anime is. I am looking for animes to watch. I've watched, well, I would say I've watched a lot of the major ones, but really I haven't. I've watched a lot of the smaller ones. Not smaller, but they're not as talked about, I guess. I was watching One Piece, but One Piece is taking way too long. And they drag out one fight for like 10 episodes, and I just cannot um i started bleach bleach is good but something just kept telling me to watch attack on titan again so i'm re-watching attack on titan and i'm glad i am because my timeline for that show is all out of whack which i have no clue why but me re-watching it has me thinking like wow that show is really wild like the first episode they came back and brought this lady back her son's arm to tell her, her that he was dead like y'all did not have to give that lady that boy's arm like y'all could have just said she was dead and went on like why y'all have to give, give her the arm like that doesn't even make sense
So here I'm just going in with a darker marker, just making the shading more prominent, I guess. The little center part where I'm not coloring in, that's going to be the highlight in her eyes. I noticed the lady in the picture had highlight in her eyes in that little center part. And I was like, oh, that's super cute. So that's what I'm going to do. And that's exactly what I did. She was originally supposed to have a mouth. I drew the mouth because I drew her last night. Well, the night. Yeah, last night. I drew the mouth like three times. And after the third time, I was like, no, she clearly does not want a mouth. So I'm just not going to give her a mouth because it just was not coming out right. And I'm good at drawing like eyes and mouths. But for some reason, like, it just was not working out. And I was like, well, if she doesn't want a mouth, I'm not going to give her a mouth. Like, that's the good thing about art. You can just, you just go with the flow, do whatever feels right. And she was telling me she didn't want a mouth. So I said, okay, girl, you should have said that the first time. So she just did not get a mouth. Eventually, y'all will start to see, like, I'm a pretty dark person. Like, I like skulls and stuff like that. So, a lot of my stuff is going to be, like, darker, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, the girl on the left, she's not really dark. Like, she's pretty happy looking, I would say. But, I know when I finished this, my mom and my brother were like, why does she have to be dark? Why does it have to be, like, creepy looking? Why she doesn't have a mouth? I'm like, well, she was supposed to have a mouth. She just didn't want a mouth, so she didn't get one. Um, I wasn't intentionally trying to make it dark, but it is what it is, you know? Like, I can't... I just do what my art tells me that it wants. She didn't want a mouth. She wanted it to be dark. I said, okay. <laughs> you know? This is, this is their world. I'm just living in it. Now I'm doing the eyelashes. Um, I've gotten really good at doing eyelashes. I believe in my last video I was talking about trying to get better at doing eyelashes. I'm good at like doing eyes, but eyelashes were really hard for me. So I did a lot of research. My research was on TikTok, of course. <laughs> and looking at a bunch of videos of people showing like how to do eyelashes. I feel like I've gotten really good at eyelashes. Like, my eyelashes have gotten super, super good. So, I'm really happy. So, I've gotten really good at doing, like, face shapes. Doing the whole, you know how, like, they draw the circle and then kind of draw, like, the rounded triangle at the bottom? So, like, her face, you see, is, like, circle. But then, like, where her chin and stuff is, like, I keep calling it, like, a rounded triangle. So, you know, you draw the circle, do the little rounded triangle at the bottom for however her, you know, face is going to be. And then you do the line through the middle, um, vertical and horizontal to show where the eyes will lay and then where the mouth will lay and where, like, the center of her face will be. Since I've been doing that, my life has gotten so much easier with drawing like face shapes it's still a little difficult i'm still trying to figure it out a little bit but it's gotten much better than it was so like originally usually i draw faces kind of like forward but see like how her face is kind of like to the side and slanted like because of me trying to teach myself to do these things I was able to do it that way when a few weeks ago I wouldn't be able to do that I took art classes in high school but I didn't go to college for art so I didn't learn like too much stuff like I knew about the circle and the rounded upside down triangle thing but I I, I don't know I don't know how to I don't know how to say it like I just because I guess I didn't take it I don't I didn't take art as serious as I am now I wasn't really applying it like I would usually just draw the face just how I just like freehand draw a face shape 
instead of now just like okay let me draw a circle and then once i draw the circle let me do the little triangle which way do i want their face to be uh facing do i want it kind of to the side do i want them their head slanted like what do i want shading i'm pretty okay with shading shading's kind of it's fairly easy i guess <laughs> my shading doesn't look that good because you know these markers they don't really blend into each other which i don't know why i had so much trouble blending this out but when i did um my oc or my original character which i showed in my first video i believe um i named him rion which is french for nothing but um <laughs> when i did him i drew him in marker his blending was like seamless i did that at like two o'clock in the morning too but I wasn't really thinking about it. This one is like a little splotchy. Even the girl on the left, hers is better blending, but even that is kind of like, mm, you know, it could have been better. This is me just trying to go in and blend everything out. That line in her face was really kind of bothering me, but eventually I started to realize, like, I can't get rid of it. Another thing I'm getting better at is hair. I suck at hair, like, that's why a lot of times when I draw faces, I try to cut off their head where they're, you can't really see their hair, because I suck at drawing hair, oh my gosh. But because I'm, you know, this is my sketchbook, I'm like, I gotta do different things, try stuff new you know i looked at a bunch of reference photos and i seen this girl her hair was slicked back it was a lady doing watercolor and her hair was like this and i was like oh that's exactly the hair i wanted to do so let me try to do it and i think it turned out really good like i was impressed with her hair i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i was like wow I, I really did a great job like you know not the best hair in the world but for me it was I don't know if y'all can tell now she's starting to look like the lady from X-Men she looks like the lady from X-Men but she looks like um because she has no mouth she looks like the Deadpool that was in X-Men. That was with Wolverine. You know what I'm talking about? Like when he, when Deadpool, when uh, Ryan Reynolds was playing that one Deadpool where he didn't have a, his mouth was like sewn shut. That's what <laughs> she reminds me of as well. Which is ironic because they just announced that Wolverine was going to be, not, yeah, Wolverine was going to be in the new Deadpool. And Hugh, whatever his last name is, is going to be playing him. I was like, wow, it's so exciting. I told my brother, he he didn't seem as excited as I thought he was going to be, considering he was super sad that he was dead. <laughs> Me, I was like, oh, wow, Wolverine's back. Super excited cool i'm thinking maybe they're gonna bring back the other deadpool that had his mouth sewn shut maybe they'll go back like in the past or something or maybe like it's a different multiverse type thing i don't know i am into marvel but not like that
Here I'm just going back over the face shape in black just to make them more, I guess, pop more. She was supposed to have eyebrows too, but she told me she didn't want eyebrows, so she didn't get eyebrows. <laughs> Here I'm going in with a dark blue. Um, I wanted her to have like highlights in her hair. So the parts where I have more black, I go in with the dark color. And then the lighter sections, I go in with a lighter blue. Just to give her some dimension in her hair. Also, you'll see me go back in with the black pen and go over the hair again because you can't see it in the video, but you can actually see it, see the hair strokes in person and the marker was covering them up. But when I went back over it, you could see the hair strokes. So I was like, okay, let me go back over the hair strokes, make it look more like hair, I guess. <laughs> Here I'm just going in with the lighter blue to do the highlights. Getting in where I didn't um, do the blue for her skin. Kind of moving the blue from her hair down. As you'll see. So like those light, yeah like that. <laughs> the light spots covering it up with her hair color. In my next video, I'll try to make sure, well, I'll make sure that I include me actually drawing the face. Um, I feel like me, my face shape on this one like turned out really good. But I didn't even record me drawing it or sketching it because I did it at night and my camera was not charged. <laughs> of course, the story of my life. But next time, I'll make sure that I actually record me doing it. Because I'm sure some of y'all are like, circle, upside down, rounded triangle. What are you even talking about? So, <laughs> I'll make sure I do that next time. This is where I go back over everything with the pen. Just so you can see the hair strokes over the marker. Also did like some flyaways, I guess you could say, in her hair. Now I'm just adding some finishing touches to her. Going back over some of the shading. I add some shading to her hairline. I 
I had kind of messed up on the side of her face. So I was like, oh, I should do a black background because I was like, the black background will make it really like pop. But I didn't want to do it on the other side. So you'll see, I just did that one side and then the bottom of her, I did with the black marker. Which I'm actually glad I did because I, I don't know, I, I really like the fact that I added the black. I think the black really made the blue on her pop more. Especially since I did all that green on the other page, like the whole, uh, the page on the other side is filled with all the color. And this one was just going to be white and I was like, no. And I didn't want to have to get my watercolors because that's what I was going to end up doing. So I was like, okay, let me just do it in this black marker I already have. Because I knew I wanted a dark background, but I didn't want blue only color I had beside me was green and I didn't want green because the other side is green so I was like well we'll just do black and I was like it doesn't look right on just that one side so let me add it to the bottom <laughs> and that's exactly what I did I feel like since I've been sketching more, I've been finding more of my art style. I think for a minute, like I didn't, like I, I feel like I have an art style, but not really. Cause a lot of times I just kind of redraw what I see like online, but in my own version, I guess, or draw it the way I would do it. So like, for instance, I saw that lady's picture and I was like, oh yeah, I like the picture. And I took stuff from it, but I drew it in kind of my style, I guess. <laughs> so, but I, I think I'm starting to kind of come into more of what my style is a little bit. It's still a little difficult. I don't know. Y'all go look at my past videos and see, like, tell me if I have an art style. Because part of me feels like I don't. Like, I'm all over the place. But part of me feels like, yeah, you do have an art style. Now I'm going in with some dark blue around the edges. The light edges around the black were like really bothering me. So I was like, let me go in with some dark blue and kind of like fade it out. It ended up looking like she has like a t-shirt on. Oh, sorry if y'all hear Adonis crying. Adonis, why are you crying? Anyways. <laughs> Went in with the blue and just transitioned with other blues. So I got the dark blue, then I got a blue a little bit lighter than that one, feathered it out, went lighter than that one, feathered it out until I got back to the skin tone blue. That's basically what I did. I'm really proud of myself because I've actually been trying to fill up my sketchbook which was my goal like if you watch my first video my goal is to fill up my whole sketchbook because I've never filled a sketchbook and I'm like I see all these people on artists I mean these artists on TikTok and they have these sketchbooks and they fill them up and I'm like that's what I want to do so that's my goal, that's what I'm trying to do at the moment, I'm trying to fill up my sketchbook with different arts and stuff, seeing how my, I guess my style progresses over time, how my skills progress over time, all of that. Because even like 
if you look at the face on the other side compared to this face that I drew, you can tell a big difference. And I think that's pretty, I think that's pretty cool. I've noticed one thing that's really helped influence like how I want to draw and stuff like that as well is me getting into anime like anime has just done a whole <laughs> 180 on my life like it's changed my life so drastically but for the better I feel like like I like I don't know where my life would be if I had gotten into anime earlier on because I feel like a lot of stuff that I do now that I really like and really love is because of the influence anime has had on it um i just got into anime in january so it's like flabbergasting <laughs> i always tell people i'm like you know i love anime but i'm like don't get into anime because your whole life will revolve around anime and i feel like that's my life right now Right there, I'm just going in adding more shading to her nose. I noticed in my reference picture, she had some shading on her nose that I guess I had forgot to do. So I was just going in adding it. That's a white pen. I'm going in where the, her eyelids are highlighted and just adding a little bit of white to really make the highlight pop. And then adding it in her nose because the lady had a little bit of highlight in her nose. I would say, yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, I think I went in with the marker to make her ear darker because the lady's ear was like super dark. Here, I'm just going in and putting all the colors that I used in my other drawing I did for Rion, um, which you'll see in my first Sketch With Me video. I went and did this and I was like, oh, I should do this for this page just to add a little bit more to the page so that's what I did and I actually am glad that I did because it just adds a little bit of more I don't know it just adds something to the page it makes it not so plain so I was like let me just add all the colors I used I know y'all probably wondering like where are all these other random colors it's from um, her eyes <laughs> So that is the finished drawing. I absolutely loved how it came out. The great thing about art is like, you'll have something in your mind and it may or may not come out exactly how you want. But when it still comes out good, comes out good, it's like, wow, like, it's not what I was wanting, but it's exactly what I needed. Cause I really like this drawing. I do wish the shading and stuff was a little better, but I'm not complaining. So yeah, let me know if y'all like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in my next Sketch With Me video. Thank you.